Occupying more than 900 acres on the southeast corner of San Francisco, Hunters Point Naval Shipyard is an important part of the region's history. In fact, it played a vital national defense role during World War II as a major ship maintenance facility for the Pacific Fleet. The shipyard entered the federal cleanup program in the 1990s following decades of use, including some industrial activities that occurred during a time when environmental standards were not as established as they are today. The Navy, in coordination with regulators and other stakeholders, is working to ensure that the area meets today's newer, more stringent standards. This includes cleanup of chemical contaminants and confirmation that current radiological standards are met. Ensuring public confidence in the retesting process and in the end result is an important aspect of the Navy's program. The final step in the cleanup process at Hunter's Point is transferring the shipyard to the city of San Francisco for redevelopment. Key to receiving regulatory approval for all property transfers is ensuring the property is ready for use by those who will live and work in the area. Some earlier work on the site was found to have not met Navy standards, so we're retesting these areas to ensure public confidence. The Navy and regulatory agency partners, including the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and other California agencies, have agreed that additional data is required to confirm cleanup is complete. To monitor proper data collection, the Navy has hired an on-site quality assurance contractor to oversee the field work and to verify procedures are followed. The U.S. EPA will also conduct independent sampling to substantiate findings. The retesting process at Hunter's Point begins with what's known as the Parcel G Work Plan. This will serve as the template for other areas that will be evaluated at Hunter's Point. For Parcel G, this includes trenches that house former sanitary and storm drain lines, buildings potentially impacted based on historical activity, and surrounding soil areas. The retesting will be accomplished through a variety of methods. For example, the inside of buildings will be scanned and swipe tested with specially treated cloth. Soil will be removed from trenches, sampled and scanned, and soil core samples will be extracted with specialized drilling equipment. Next, samples are sent to a certified laboratory for analysis where equipment will be used to test the samples for radiological contamination. Third-party data validation, chain of custody reviews, and split samples with our regulatory partners will further ensure accuracy in the results. Upon completion of the resampling, retesting, and any cleanup work required by the Navy and regulatory agencies, we'll continue the process of final approvals to transfer the property to the City of San Francisco. The Navy is committed to ensuring that these processes are properly followed and that any issues are managed according to regulatory guidelines, and in doing so transparently in partnership with the community. For updates, visit our website for the latest information.